Hey everyone, I am the Executioner, and today I'm going to talk about how I became a Libertarian. If I had to boil down Libertarianism in a nutshell, it would be from Penn Jillette's video. He did a video a while back on why he was Libertarian, so I don't know what's best for you. You don't know what's best for me, so I'm not going to pretend like I know what's best for you. I'm all for a variety of solutions in life. I reject force. I think that force is the number one illness that plagues our society now. If you think about any issue nowadays, the only solution people are coming up with is one where the government is in everybody's business. It requires the use of force. With libertarianism, on the other hand, we propose a solution that's not based in force, but voluntarism. We believe in voluntary action among individuals and what best suits them. We don't believe in taking 50% of your paycheck, for example, uh, yearly or through an income tax or any of that to try to get basic services built. We're all for a free market taking that over. And if things are held in common, then we're for voluntary collection, if you will. People coming together and saying, oh, if we want this, well, we're going to have to band together to do this. I am not for people coming together to force the other guy to pay for something. That I'm not for. I don't believe in the social contract. I think it's dead in many aspects. There's a good video by Shane Killian, The Social Contract is Dead, and many works by Lysander Spooner. But I think uh, David D. Friedman and Rothbard put the social contract to basically the rest, saying that it's not a contract whatsoever. Nobody signs it voluntary. It's all by duress. If you don't follow that social contract, then you will be rounded up. And you will be thrown in a cage, essentially. That's duress. People do not consent to taxes. People are brainwashed into believing they consent into those taxes through a mythical idea. I am for a voluntary society based off of markets, not based off of statism. Anyways, personally, I became a libertarian a while back when... I got introduced more into the social justice warrior debate sphere. So back then, I was a liberal. I was a Bernie Sanders supporter. I was all into that. But a good friend of mine got me into libertarianism when I did not want to vote for Hillary Clinton, but I didn't want to vote for Donald Trump. So I ended up voting Green Party. Big mistake. And this is long before I could actually vote. I think this was in a school mock election. And he suggested the Libertarian Party. And I didn't really know a lot about Libertarians. I scoffed at the idea at first. But later on, because of all this social justice madness and the restriction of free speech, I got more into it. And I gotta say, my first interaction with libertarianism kind of went through Pendulette's BS, uh, Mr. Dapperton, for example, and Atomic Ancap, which was the first. Atomic Ancap, I saw his interview on Suit Yourself a number of years ago, and I wanted an avatar really badly. So I ended up finding Mr. Dapperton and saying, hey, where did you get your avatar, dude? He said, Friddle in general. And that's how I became part of the Rant Sona Club, if you will. And over time, I focused on Shane Killian, Esoteric Entity, that crowd. And then I kind of morphed out when things sort of went into drama and stuff like that. I kind of went to Jim Jesus and that crowd, and I focused on that one. Which kind of opened my eyes to David D. Friedman and Walter E. Block and a whole host of different philosophers including Hans-Hermann Hoppe and Max Stirner, 
And it really changed my view on how libertarianism is. At first, I was really just anarcho-capitalist, a libertarian, for example. Even in my earliest work, you could see my liberal leanings going from Bernie Sanders supporter to classical liberal to libertarian to anarcho-capitalist to what I am today. And I think it's very interesting how that transition happened. You can see my videos where I went against Black Lives Matter, and it's not necessarily why I go against them today, uh, based on the fact that the, their organization in general is just a toxic environment, if you will, that promotes policies that would actually hinder the ability of African Americans to grow and actually progress, if you will. It was more based on the... Uh, skeptic route of oh you want to abolish the police and nowadays i don't even like the concept of public policing i like the concept of uh, private security which i want to replace uh public policing with for example rights arbitration as david d friedman put it but as my stance evolved over time it kind of opened my eyes to new people and the thing, the advice I want to give to new libertarians is read the primary sources. Don't go into the YouTube channel and stuff like that. Shane Killian, Jim Jesus, all great. But you don't really want to rely on them. You want to actually read uh, Road to Serfdom by Hayek. That was one of the first libertarian books I read. Uh, and I got to say, it, it, it's a great book. And a whole bunch of other books are great introductions to libertarianism as verses to YouTube channels, for example, where there is a second opinion on a primary source, if you will. I would recommend Thomas E. Woods, for example. He has a number of books. Uh, the Politically Incorrect Guide to American History and 33 Questions You Shouldn't Ask About American History. Uh, For a New Liberty by Murray Rothbard, Healing Our World in an Age of Aggression by Ruert, I believe, that's her name, and a whole bunch of things. Even leftist literature you want to read, like The Conquest for Bread, or even individualist literature like uh, The Ego in Its Own by Max Stirner. You want to read those. You don't want to get involved in the YouTube sphere whatsoever. Just read. Read those and read about history in general. That's the avenue you want to go down. That's the avenue where you are. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't watch my content and other people's content, but if you're getting into libertarianism, go the book route. It's going to save you a lot of time, if you will. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked listening to my story, how I became a libertarian, my ideas on libertarianism, and how, in general, I came to the position I am today with 230 subscribers. I started this channel four years ago when I was in high school, and I just gotta say, I couldn't imagine it getting this far. I appreciate you guys. I think you guys make the channel, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Have a good one. Ring the bell. Please subscribe and share the video around, and remember to stay free.